Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Baos, and today guys, we are going to learn a little bit more about modems, routers, private IPs, public IPs, and a lot of stuff like that. So uh, yeah, before the video starts, please consider subscribing, leaving a like and a comment. If you really enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it to your friends to make the channel grow. Guys, we just hit 200 subscribers, that's amazing, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go right into the video. Okay, so guys, today we are going to look at a modem or router. Now, to start, what is the difference between a modem and a router? If you don't know that, I'm going to explain it, don't worry. Now, a modem is the device your internet provider is going to give you. So it can be AT&T or whatever other internet provider you have. Now, the modem is here to connect you from the WAN to your LAN. And don't worry, we're going to talk about what a WAN is and what a LAN is. But a router is going to route the connection. So again, this is a pretty complicated right now, but we will get to the simple part. Now, a WAN is a wide area network. So basically, it's like the streets. It's like the world. So you have the world, you have your house, and you have your rooms. Now, the world is sort of the WAN. It's the wide area network because, you know, when you go on YouTube, all the database in YouTube, uh, Amazon or whatever, they are not in your router. Like, th that would be impossible. That's multiple petabytes of data. That That's not possible. So, that is why we are connected to the LAN that are connected to other servers. But basically, this is sort of a door to your LAN. Now, the LAN is the local area network. So, the local area network is basically, I don't know, your room, your, your kitchen, your basement, and everything. So let's go ahead and talk about all these ports. Now you have the off and on. This is where you are going to plug in the adapter to, well, give power to your modem. Then you have the LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, LAN 4. This is where you are going to connect your devices. Even though there are only four, you can connect these to a switch. But yeah, that's a video for another time. Then you have the TEL 1 and TEL 2. These are fixed telephones. So if you're a little bit young, a fixed telephone, what is that? Well, in the old days, you had these desktop telephones, which were pretty bulky, which you connected to a LAN port and you connected directly into the modem. Now that doesn't really exist anymore because we have iPhones, Samsungs and everything like that. But yeah, basically these were called IP phones. Now here we have an optical fiber port. What is that? Well, a optical fiber port is here to get access from the WAN because you will have a WAN port and you can have an RJ45 cable. If you don't know what that is, it's basically the cables that you connect from your modem to any devices. Don't worry, you have one on your computer. Everyone has LAN ports. It's it's the best ports you ever need on a computer. But anyways, this is the optical fiber port and it is a little bit different. Now, the optical fiber port is a sort of glass tube with a laser in it. Now, you're going to ask, why a laser? Well, a laser because it's light and light, well, we don't really know anything faster than light now, do we? So anyways, you are getting internet through light. Now, how is that working? Well, you know, computers understand stand ones and zero. I did a video about that earlier in my channel, but basically when you send a light bulb, well, when there is a light from the laser, it's equal to a one. And when there is no light, it's equal to a zero. Now that we looked at all these ports, let's take a look at this little schematic. Now this white block is going to represent the WAN. So this is the wide area network and it is sort of the world. Now this door is going to be the router. As you can see, we have a public IP and we have a private IP, which I will be getting on uh, soon in the video, don't worry. And here we have all the devices. So the yellow devices over here are all the LAN uh, ports over here and the blue ones are the telephones. Now, as you can see, we have a public IP, which is 52, 39, 148 in an X. So uh, yeah, you guys, this is not my public IP. Uh, I just put an X so uh, you don't go and DDoS a random person. Uh, so uh, yeah, but anyways, as you can see, it has a private IP as well, which is 192. 168.1.1. Now, how does this work? Well, imagine I am data from a server. Well, I am going to go ahead and knock on your modem because your internet provider has uh, you covered with a modem. Now, this is the address of your home. So I'm going to knock and I'm going to say, hey, I'm the data you're looking for and it's going to accept me or not. This is the job of the firewall and we will be talking about that in another video. But basically, you have a sort of a person that uh, I don't know, accepts you, you have a person that guides you, and you have the person well, that indicates where you are. So basically, yeah, you have three person. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a experiment over here. Now we are going to go to the person that indicates where we are. So that is the job of the modem, 5239, 148 point whatever number. And yeah, I am at the right place. So I'm going to enter. And now this is the job of the firewall. The firewall is going to accept me or not, because you can configure your firewall 
to accept certain IPs and ban certain IPs. Imagine you, you, you have a, you know, a son that goes on bad websites, you know. Well, you can basically ban that with the firewall, and that's amazing. But anyways, I am into the home, and now I am going to meet the person that is going to route me to whatever devices needs the data. Now, basically, I'm going to search for a certain IP. If I want to go to the 192.168.1.4, well, I'm going to go and search for that. So is it that? No. Is it over here? No, it isn't. Is it over here? Yes, it is. It's 192.168.1.4. So I am at the right device, and I am going to provide some connection. Now, yeah, that's really basically how uh, IPs in a uh, route well, network works. Uh, you have your WAN, and you have a bunch of security over here, some routing, and some devices right over here. Now, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and a comment. And if you really enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it to your friends. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. And if you did, well, I am really glad. Anyways, guys, my name is Vados Offline. Thank you.